Okay, what we're, what I'm working on today is uh, I'm going to brew on Friday, so I've always kind of wanted to have like a, a milling grain station where you can kind of flip a switch or drill and kind of walk away from it or just stand there while instead of holding the drill there and trying to regulate the speed. The drill I've been using, it, the electric drill I've used is it has like one speed and that's just haul ass. So I picked up this drill at a yard sale. It has a a speed control on it right here that you can twist that and it can make it you know faster or slower that way. So I can kind of regulate the speed that I mill my grain at because I think I've been going a little too fast and it shreds the husks and stuff. So I'm going to mount, basically I'm going to just mount the barley crusher on here and uh, figure out a way to kind of just attach this drill onto the barley crusher so I can kind of just, you know, clamp that, get the drill going, put my grains in, and not have to stand around and hold it. And Because, you know, if you're doing a 10 gallon batch, you mill in 20 pounds of grain. It's just, you know, one more thing. So, all right, let me get back with you when I uh, put the barley crusher and cut the hole out for this on this board. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Got it pretty much mounted. Um, what I found out is I took this off of the base plate and it's attached to originally just to this piece of plywood, but my drill was too high up and it wouldn't line up correctly. So I ended up putting the baseboard back on, which is better. It just makes it a little bit more stable. I had to replace the had to replace the bolts down here. Luckily, I have them laying around the shop, but um. Yeah, so it seems to be working pretty good. So, I mean, no world wobbles, and I got it just secured down with this. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put some legs on it and uh, kind of make it the same height or maybe just a little bit higher than a plastic bucket so I could slide a bucket under there and I'm gonna call that pretty pretty much good so I'll show you the uh, the final product here in a minute all right here's the uh, finished product um, I've got it actually resting on the bucket and uh, I just kind of put two legs underneath there pretty simple Nothing, nothing crazy. I wanted to make it as small as possible so I can store it out of the way when I'm not using it. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out like a get one of those plastic ones would probably work better. But all right, we're gonna we're gonna give this the test. All right. Put you down for a second. I think that was successful. So I think it's gonna work pretty well. I think I still need to kind of adjust it a little bit. It's still a little fine. Um, it doesn't really seem to... I don't get stuck sparges or anything so... and I know what my efficiency my efficiency is always at so... Um, I might adjust it slightly back just a little bit but... Cool. Well, there's my my grain mill. I'll show you guys. I haven't really posted any videos in about eight months or so. I've. Uh, I'll show you what else I've been doing. Basically, all new tile, retiled, painted, tiled all the way through here. Is just laminate. Um, painted the cabinet. Still kind of working on it. Painting cabinets. I got to put a bracket up here. For the dish or a microwave, obviously all cabinets got some new appliances used. Painted all these cabinets. Um, come into the living room. 
I put down all this new uh, laminate flooring throughout the uh, living room in this other room over here. So this is basically what I've been doing in the last eight months on my free time. Um, we got some stone for the fireplace that we're going to do. I'm going to put this stone up. It's going to be really cool. The slate, um, this is a concrete, but it looks like slate, but I'm going to do this all throughout, take all that wood out. Um, obviously painted all this. Um, the laminate goes throughout the hallway into this bedroom. It's really my office. Um, and then the master master bedroom um, we're gonna do I'm doing trim right now so I've got all my trim painted and so that's pretty much the last thing I'm working on I'm gonna have uh, Home Depot put carpet in here um, really the last thing I need to do big is the, the bathroom there so that's what I haven't I haven't really all my shit is in here so painted all this Oh, and I also took down the the popcorn ceiling, which was a nightmare. But um, as you can see, I've kind of re just retextured it all to match the texture that's on the walls. So, yeah, no more popcorn ceiling. Took all that down. Tore out the carpet, put in laminate. It just takes so freaking long to do. I've also got this weather out here is absolutely insane. We're about to have a spring storm, but I'll show you the hops. It's like April 8th. And uh, these are the centennials that are coming up pretty good. And look at these second, those are second year centennials, second year cascades. These are cascades as well. So they're really, really going hard. I need to build a trellis. And I have a, a brand new uh, Chinook rhyme zone I'm going to put in there, so. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, I plan to start posting a little bit some more videos here and there, but. Yeah, this weather is crazy in Denver. Got a big spring storm, they say anywhere from 6 to 12 inches in April. So that's wonderful. So, all right, guys. We'll uh, we'll uh, talk with you guys later. Here's the Bruce Dan. I'm gonna be making a video about. I'm going to finish my casters. Put some casters on here and kind of, because this thing really doesn't roll very well, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to move. But you know, maybe put some pieces of steel up like that with the casters on, so it you know gives it a lot more rigid rigid factor so and I, I put this sight glass on the other day too it's obviously this is just upside down for storage my kettle but this thing's gonna be so nice to be able to uh, see temperature with the sight glass I got it from uh, brewhardware.com um, he does it locally I mean not locally he's out of New Jersey but good guy seems to he has a he has some videos on YouTube too um, What's his name? Bobby from New Jersey, I think. So, um, yeah, it was good. Like forty-six bucks for this thing. So, it's all good. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna be brewing this Friday with my brother-in-law. I don't know what, and I don't think I'll videotape any of it. But, all right, guys. Catch you later.